a duck's opinion of you is directly correlated to whether you have bread or not. So let's get into some 1.20 client side mods. Because everyone loves mods, you don't have to uninstall when playing with friends. All of these mods are shown on my Minecraft server, Thrillcraft free for anyone to join and play when using any of these mods. Just a warning, this mod may cause motion sickness, so feel free to skip to the next mod if you don't do well with motion sickness. You will need your American citizenship for this mod because it screams freedom. You can turn yourself into a fighter jet when you use your Elytra, as you now have full control over your movement so you can fully immerse yourself by flying around looking for oil. You can do barrel rolls and loops, or just fly around swinging side to side showing the seagulls how us land dwellers do it. This works in the first and third person and it can take some getting used to. But once you've mastered it, you will never get sick of using your elytra ever again. Flying upside down is super fun if you can manage to master this special forces maneuver. This is honestly a super fun mod and I could spend hours flying around with the elytra now as it makes it so much more fun. Having this as an enchantment option in vanilla Minecraft would be a king for a future update. There is nothing worse than getting attacked when you don't have armor, weapons, or food in your hotbar. But Inf Move solves this first world problem, so now you can run around and move with the inventory open, making it super easy to apply armor and get correct weapons or food when mid-fight, or you can rearrange your inventory while on a long ride in your boat. This is the perfect mod for every single Minecraft player out there, and it should be a part of vanilla Minecraft. Let's give your Minecraft characters some more life with not enough animations. This mod allows you to draw bows like a gangster ready for a drive-by, and you get a nice little hand movement when loading up both bows and crossbows, which looks neat. When you hold maps, you move your arm up and down, indicating you are looking at said map when it's in your hand. And if you change between the two maps, you do a little shimmy. You can now use boats while looking at your map without having to take it out of your inventory, giving yourself a sweet field of view while you look for buried treasure. Making boat driving look much easier when looking for that sweet buried desert booty. When climbing ladders, you move like a dog on all fours and it looks great. Such a great animation. There is also movement when using your shield to defend yourself. And you can poke out your eyeball with the animations of looking into a spyglass. Skin Layers 3D adds in layers to all Minecraft skins you look at. Their bodies will no longer be pancakes and now have some depth in them to fit into the blocks in your world. The amount of 3D will vary depending on the detail on the skin being used. And it even works on mob heads so your battle trophies look great as well. Let's give you the need for speed. Boat HUD gives you a little HUD that shows if you can live your life a quarter mile at a time by showing you how fast you are moving. And it also shows how many G-forces you hit. But we don't have Gs. We have family that shows off our drift angle, steering angle, and throttle and brake indicator. A great mod for you and your family to race a quarter mile in. Let's make loading your world fun. Chunks fade in turns your chunk loading into a fun bouncy castle. Instead of just appearing, they now fade in and rise up from underneath, making your world look so much better when spawning in. A nice touch I'd love to see as a toggle feature in vanilla Minecraft. You can also change in settings to have the chunks just fade in if you don't like the bouncy effect. But the bouncy effect is cooler than vanilla ice when spawning into a new world. Eating animations gives you a nice touch when drinking your soup, eating your food, and even drinking your oddly shaped water bottle. Now you get to see your food disappear while you eat it. A good indication you are nearly done your meal, and a great touch that adds so much more life into your world. I can see this being super useful for PvP players out there as a good indication to know how much time they have to recharge. Falling leaves makes trees drop leaves like your parents dropped you as a child. Now when walking through forests, leaves will elegantly fall to the ground. And how good does this look? A nice subtle effect that can be so calming. First person model turns your world into a Walmart Minecraft VR as it gives you full range head movement so you can look around a lot more smoothly now. Looking at your own body to see those block limbs move, which is really great. This feels like you have more free range movement and it even works on boats and anything you mount. Makes you feel more attached to Minecraft Steve and walking through the forest. Overall, this is a great mod that adds so much life into your world. It's a perfect mod for anyone wanting to make Minecraft feel like a new game. And walking through cherry blossom biomes with the leaves falling mod is a tad more magical. I bet you're asking, why are the items showing up on the roof of my video? Well, you listen here, you little nerd. I'm using a mod called Inventory HUD+. Plus. This mod allows you to customize your inventory to new styles and be anywhere on your screen. All your inventory items can be shown on your screen, so no more going into your UI to see it. And you can even show armor and weapons health and see how many 
many arrows you have and how much space is left in your inventory. It's the perfect mod being able to keep track of everything while on the go. You can change the size and have a vertical or horizontal layout as well as choose to show health bars or percentage for durability. You also have two options for potions to have a countdown or meters that deplete and you can place these anywhere on your screen that suits you. So if you want to be the king of the weenie hut junior you can use the potion bar as you cross here to take out mobs. This is a super customizable mod and works perfect on servers while also giving your UI inventory a massive overhaul. Let me show you some reasons why this mod is the Minecraft sequel. Physics mod is the mod where the ocean waves at you while you sail your panda food boat looking for Captain Jack Sparrow. Banners, capes and vines all move around so elegantly in the wind. Just look how smooth they move. Desert pubes as far as the eye can see. Just look at how magical the land noodles move. Blocks will shatter into pieces when they pull an ocean gate reverse Uno card, and the smoke completes the look. Pillagers will now hotbox themselves with smoke, and some pillagers will pull out vapes to make any cloud color of their choice. And if you are feeling brave enough to turn your PC into a SpaceX rocket, place down and break an enchanting table to create your own custom water source. This water looks like flubber and will interact with you when you touch it, which is a great addition. This is still in beta, so it won't work properly and may cause some lag, and I'm excited to see the full potential of this in future updates. Doors will move like they haven't had any Viagra lately, and they look super smooth and really clean. Oh, what a nice child you have there. It would be a shame if someone turned it into a soccer ball. Who needs a soccer ball when you have a villager ragdoll? The ragdoll physics are great, and it's fun to push around the boss mobs to show them who's in charge. And they also float like little turds, which could be funny to watch if this mod gets currents in the ocean or rivers. There is ripple effects in the water when you move for a great immersive feel, and these react really well to the environment around them. You can throw your balls at your homie's face and watch them break apart into pieces. And I must say, the snow physics in this mod in general is insane. Just walking around in the snow, you can leave behind snow trails. Or you you can bring out your inner artist and draw average sized scissors in the snow. Overall, this mod is definitely one of the best on the list, and all these features can be turned off or on to suit you. And I believe the full version is now free for everyone, but I highly recommend buying Habuna's Patreon, as the amount of work he puts into this is insane. Are you the type of person who says one shot when an enemy is full health? Well, Montplax is the cancel culture for that behavior. You now get a bar above all entities that will show you the health of all mobs, and it even shows you if they have any armor or not. Super useful to know if you can give mobs a left or right good night with your fist, or if you have to use your gold sword. You can configure the hotbar to show either health numbers or percentages to suit your eyeballs to what you like looking at. And it even works in well with name tags. And super handy for keeping track of your pet's health. Steve has grown some ear holes and can now hear his footsteps making different sounds depending what block he walks on. So let's listen to some foot stamping ASMR. Swapping items is like running life on one FPS. Smooth swapping gives you an item animation moving from your inventory to your hotbar and vice versa. And I must say, it looks smooth. But if you don't like the animation speed, you can change the speed to be faster than the flash, making him look like light bulb or slower than getting to max level on RuneScape. Overall, making your inventory a lot more pleasing to use. You can also create your own S-Bend curves to change the feel of the animations by making it ramp in and out of speed. Another inventory mod is tiny item animations, giving your items some pizzazz when you pick them up, as they now pop up instead of just spawning bigger. And this works perfectly with the smooth swapping mod for the perfect inventory combo. Now let me show you one of the best mini map mods to date. Voxel Maps is your friendly neighborhood cube map that lives in the top of your screen. It does a perfect job showing you where you are with your cords underneath, so no more F3. And it rotates when you rotate, so you always know where you are facing. I think it does a great job with showing off builds on the map so you can get creative and show off your 2D skills. Mobs will also show up on the map when they are nearby and depending on the height limit they spawn at they may be slightly faded on the map to indicate they're at a different depth. This also works in the nether and works great with biome blending so you can easily see what biomes are coming up. You can also full screen the map to see where you have explored so you won't get lost exploring new areas again and also very helpful to see where you haven't explored. You can even set markers on the map for any
any point of interest in your world or server that you play on. And the best part is, you can easily teleport by right clicking on the map to go to any location of your choice. And you don't even need a marker on the map to be able to teleport. This will only work if teleporting is allowed on the server, which it's allowed on the Thrillcraft server. The map also shows off players that are nearby, so no more sneak attacks by enemies. This is a great map mob with features that are customizable to suit your needs. Let's flex on your mates with YDM's Weapons Master. This mod plants the weapons on your armor for you to show off. And this looks and makes getting powerful weapons like netherite and diamond hose a lot more rewarding. This also works for bows as well. So be proud and show off your hard work getting those enchanted items. When downloading this mod, make sure you get the client side mod as there's also a server side mod on that page as well. I'm showing off the client side mod and I believe the server side makes it so everyone on the server will be able to do this. So it needs to be installed on the server by the server owner. Is your screen too cluttered? Well, now you can play peekaboo with your hotbar. Auto HUD makes your hotbar shy as it now hides away from you. It pops back up when you scroll through it and goes back into hiding when it hasn't been used for a few seconds, clearing up heaps of space on your screen. And if you get sick of not seeing the hotbar, you can toggle this on and off so the hotbar will always show up again. When you press F3, your screen screen is more cluttered than Charlie Sheen's nose. But better F3 puts your screen through rehab and makes it so much cleaner. It's much more simple to read, only showing information you want, making it easy to find what biome you're in, what blocks you're looking at, and what FPS your potato is running. And it even gives you a cool in and out animation. What more could you want? And just having overall less crap on your screen makes my anxiety calm down a little bit. Don't let this mod fool you. You are wearing your glasses. Blur will make the background of your UI look like an innocent bystander on cops. All backgrounds are blurred out making a great effect and much more pleasing when opening the menu or any UIs. This is a subtle change but it's one of my favorites on the list as it suits in so well and it's just so damn clean. You can also change the amount of blur your background has and you can even make the background more saturated to enhance your screen a little bit more and I love how well this looks in certain environments. Some mobs are as plain as licking a leaf for lunch and visuality adds flair to some of the mobs in your world. Slimes now get bubbles when jumping around, making them feel more slimy. Skeletons now drop bones when you pimp slap them with your meat stick, but your doggo can't eat these bones as they aren't real. Chickens also drop feathers when you punch them square in the noggin. And when you enter a geode, Amethyst crystals will sparkle at you and also ores will sparkle at you, making them a bit more easy to find, which I think is a nice touch. And lastly, rain will now have water drops when it lands in the water. And this is the cherry on top for the perfect quality of life mod. And you know what else is perfect? The YouTube recommended video. They know what you want to watch. So go on, give it a click, and I'll see you legends over there.